A newly licensed teen driver is often one of the biggest concerns for parents. Teens are more likely to be involved in car crashes within their first few years of driving, partly because they are more likely to engage in risk-taking behaviors. So, what if there was a way to address the risk factors related to crashes involving teen drivers? And not as teen drivers are overrepresented in uh, vehicle accidents compared to more mature drivers. And that's kind of because they do different things like talking on the cell phone, They're, they do more risk-taking behaviors like speeding and so forth. So we're kind of taking those aspects of things and then trying to build a model or a prototype um, system or conceptual system and then put those elements into a vehicle. As a part of a national focus on teen driving safety, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration has chosen the University of Minnesota and Westat to develop a prototype teen driver feedback system for new cars. The project is called the Safe Teen Car System, and it gives teens feedback to help them address crash risk factors. The Safe Teen Car System is intended as a potential built-in option to be offered by automakers. The system implements a combination of several existing safety concepts. It also utilizes the advanced computer intelligence of today's vehicles to provide young, novice drivers with information tailored to their needs and behaviors. The Safe Teen Car System, which is active only when the vehicle determines the driver is a teen, has a number of important features to identify risky driving behaviors. The system monitors speed, excessive maneuvers, cell phone use, seat belt use, driver buckle seat belt, and passenger presence. Then, it provides real-time feedback to the driver when a crash risk factor is present. The system also interprets driving context. We do not inform the teen's parents. For example, we don't tell them that how the teen is driving. This is more of just a feedback system so that the teen gets audio and visual feedback immediately as they're driving. When the driver exceeds the speed limit or a vehicle maneuver exceeds a certain threshold, the safe teen car system issues warnings in the form of auditory tones, visual icons, and spoken notifications. We adjust the thresholds down to make the system more sensitive. So when they're doing unsafe things, the system becomes more strict. There are three different types of speed warnings. A mild speed warning indicates the driver is exceeding the speed limit by two miles per hour. A stronger speed warning, speeding violation, indicates the driver is more than 2 to 15 miles per hour over the speed limit. Finally, a stern warning is triggered at speeds well beyond the maximum legal limits for freeways. Because the risk of a crash is greater at night, the car adjusts to nighttime conditions by lowering warning thresholds for excessive speeds and maneuvers. Results from a preliminary study of teens and their parents found the safe teen car system beneficial. The majority of teens in the study said the system improved their safety, and most parents said they would recommend the system to other parents and teens. Most important, the safe teen car system is a tool to help young drivers drive safely, which could ultimately reduce the number of people seriously injured and killed in crashes. For further information about the safe teen car system, please contact the Human First Program, or WESTAT.